After harsh criticism of the economic plans, the British government abandoned its plan to abolish the top income tax rate of 45%. We decided that the abolition of the 45% tax cut in income tax did not align with our mission to tackle the challenges facing the country. As a result, we will not move forward with the 45% tax abolition. We understood and listened, Corning said. Used the phrases. Corning announced on September 23 that it is preparing to implement tax cuts totaling £45 billion, aimed at benefiting the wealthiest in the country. The tax cuts also included the removal of the 45% income tax levied on those earning more than £150,000 a year. This situation caused the sterling to lose strength with the increase in the expectations that the country's external debt would increase, causing turmoil in the markets. The impact of the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war on energy prices and recession concerns also increased the pressure on the sterling. The Bank of England had to step in and announce a bond-buying package. On September 22, the bank raised the policy rate by 50 basis points to 2.25%. Thus, the policy rate rose to the highest level of the last 14 years. Inflation in the country is at 9.9%, the highest level in the last 40 years. Standard & Poor's downgraded the outlook for the UK's AA sovereign credit rating from stable to negative on the grounds that Prime Minister Liz Truss' tax cut plans would cause the country's debt to continue to rise. The International Monetary Fund IMF, also stated on September 27 that they were closely following the latest economic developments in the UK and were working with the authorities, and that they did not propose large and non-targeted fiscal packages, given high inflation. The pound gained 0.8% against the dollar after news of the abandonment of a plan to remove the top income tax rate of 45%.